Hey everyone, kind of excited here. I picked up a piece of swordfish when I was at the store today. That's something that I've never bought and cooked because it's normally, you know, pretty expensive. It's normally like 14 or 15 bucks a pound when I see it. But I saw it for $6.99 a pound, so I got one steak of it and it was exactly a pound. So I. Uh, Got that thing seasoned up. I rubbed it with some canola oil on the outside there, and then I seasoned it with that Tajin seasoning. That's a mixture of lime and peppers. I, I use that on fish a lot. It's one of my favorite things to use on fish. So, um, got my little Weber Jumbo Joe warming up over here. I'm going to try to do it on that. In fact, uh, let me see. Let's pan over there. A little bit of grease is burning out the bottom of the grill there. So as soon as that dies down, I'm going to put the grate on there and get the fish going. All right, I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready and I have it on there. All right, my fire died out there, so I just sprayed the grill with some cooking spray because fish um, tends to stick to the grill pretty bad. So. Um, I'm going to put that on there and uh, put the lid on real quick. All right. So Looks like it's cooking pretty good. I don't know how long that'll take. Probably fish cooks pretty quickly. I'm thinking 10, 15 minutes. All right, I'll bring you back when I turn it over. Okay, that's been on there about six or seven minutes, I guess. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Cause I haven't done this before with swordfish. So I'm, to be honest, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Just let that cook for a few more minutes. All right, that's been on there about 10 minutes now. I'm going to open it up and check the temperature with my quick read thermometer. I don't want to turn into fish jerky. about 118 so I looked it up online it said to cook it to about 145 so it needs a little bit more I don't like my fish rare I like it cooked I'm not a I'm not a sushi kind of person so a few more minutes okay it's been on there about 15 minutes now so I'm gonna open this up and check it again real quick I think that's about done probably 139 right there I always pull my meat off a little bit before the done temperature because it usually will keep cooking a little bit so that'll probably creep up to 145 once I pull it off so I'm gonna do that right now so that was on there about 15 minutes um, I pulled it off. I put some plastic wrap over it. Now I'm just going to let it sit. I always let my meat sit for a little bit, a few minutes after I take it off to just let everything settle and the juices calm down. You, you can see juice on the plate there, so it looks like it's not dry. So I'm anxious to taste this thing, but I got to just let it sit for a little bit longer. I'll bring you back and 
have a taste test. All right, that's been sitting for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm dying to taste this. Like I said, I've never cooked swordfish before, so I gotta try this. Mm. That's good. That's a really meaty piece of fish. I mean, it's solid. I mean, if you look at that, it almost looks like a piece of steak, and it has a texture almost similar to uh, a steak in a way. It's really solid. Yeah, that's really good. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.